When I got my MBA, it was like tying a rocket pack on my back. I mean, it totally transformed my life, uh, certainly professionally. The uh, foundation of the learning that I had at Ivy is something that still really influences the way I do business today. It's really pretty amazing after all these years when I think about it. And it's because largely of the approach being the case study methodology, which, which is one that's very interactive. And when you work in a business career as I have for as many years as I have, at every level you have that kind of interaction. It is, of course, a case method, predominantly, though not exclusively, a case method school. And that means that you're going to be uh, involved in not just learning concepts and tools, but applying them. And those are important differences between Ivy and the things that make it so unique in the management world. The case method that allows people to interact, to really get into a case, a real life situation, that's unique to Ivy. There are few schools that really practice the case method. Ivy does it extremely well. It's core to their tradition and approach to business teaching and it's been proven to be very effective. I walked away from Ivy with a very results-oriented approach. So I think Ivy gives you a sound analytic background, but then lets you drive very clearly to specific business results and outcomes. I think I walked away with an action orientation, and I think that's a big part of being at Ivy. Uh, I think uh, when you've got an Ivy education, you're a participant in the process. You're not an observer of it. And when you get out there in uh, the real business world, uh, which of course we all do, um, that makes a big difference in the things that you're doing. I think you also acquire a lot of the tools you need to uh, put together a general management perspective, and Ivy gives you that as well, uh, so that you can see not just um, how to solve problems, but how to identify them and, and how to put together the programs it takes to solve them. For me, the Ivy MBA was an absolute ideal combination that I very much required at that time, a combination of the pragmatic, practical, hands-on, problem-solving experience that you get from the case method, combined with the sort of leading-edge thinking that the profs bring. I would say that to be successful in business, you need a well-rounded understanding of various disciplines because business is run as a multifunctional, uh, interactive uh, set of decisions. What the Ivy uh, teaching curriculum does is simulate that environment uh, better than most business schools. I think because of, uh, first of all, the, um, the multi functional curriculum, but then also the interactive case method. Those two things together give you the best opportunity really to see what a real business situation may be like. I think that the case method is something that is very valuable and, and prospective students should think hard about what do they want out of their education uh, because Ivy has a unique experience. It's not uh, a, uh, a textbook approach. And I think the case method piece um, is still a distinguishing feature about Ivy, and though that's similar to Harvard, I still think that, that at least for some people, and for me in particular, that was a very valuable way to learn about business and brought more of that results focus to it, having a sort of macro view of problems. Uh, I think that that piece is still a pretty distinguishing uh, feature for, the, for uh, prospective students. I don't know no matter how many cases you do over the course of 18 months, but it's got to be a couple of hundred or more cases easily. And in those couple of hundred cases, you see every, you're exposed to almost every different kind of business situation and business problem that you might experience on 10 years of work experience. And you not only are exposed to these situations, but you are forced to think them through yourselves and then yourself and then defend your thoughts. It's a great uh, preamble to, to business life uh, where you're on the firing line. You've got to make decisions and uh, 
that's the memorable part of it, is, the, is being forced to make decisions uh, quickly and to convince others in the classroom or in your working group that uh, your approach is a sensible one. If you've defended your thinking in that sort of a bullpit environment 300 times or more in the course of a year and a half, there ain't nothing in the real world that you have to be concerned about. It's a piece of cake by comparison. Frankly, when I came out of Ivy, I didn't know, and as a Canadian, I didn't know how was I going to do in this context. But what I quickly found is that the education, the rigor, the discipline, the diversity, the teaching, the, the quality of thought, the framework around things that, that, that you're put through, that proved incredibly valuable. And so I found, much to my pleasant surprise, I was more than holding my own. As a result of being a generalist, and I hate to use that hackneyed term, but I really was. I went in as a low-level specialist and came out as a high-level generalist, at least prepared to fulfill that role. I was rewarded by the companies that I then worked for with a series of relatively rapid promotions. And on, within three years, I was a vice president of marketing, uh, which happened to be 7UP Canada at the time. And seven years after that, I was the president of another major company, Thomas J. Lipton. And that was from a guy that was basically, you know, as I said, couldn't read an income statement or a balance sheet to president in 10 years. And it was Ivy that did it. There is no question about it. I've recruited uh, business school graduates from all over the world. And I can tell you uh, that there is no one that stands above and ahead of an Ivy School graduate. They can compete very effectively. They do every day. If you really want to uh, learn what it's like to be in a real-life business situation, deal with real-life issues uh, in, in, a, in a business environment, you should go to Ivy. They're much more prepared to contribute right off the bat. They, Ivy students, hit the ground running because they've never really been away from the business. Maybe the specific business, but not away from business. Whatever you do, I think that the tools and the skills that you acquire at Ivy are going to let you do it better. And that's what, to me, Think Higher means. I think that it means that they're coming to a school with the highest standards, and therefore in terms of faculty, program, content, alumni network, that the standards set there are very, very high. Think Higher, Think Ivy is referring, in my opinion, to the what I call this generalist senior management perspective, which people with relatively little work experience are able to gain from Ivy because of its philosophy, its way of teaching, and the case method. So think higher, think Ivy means think like a president and work like a dog. <laughs>